how to look modern without trying too hard. It's Erin and welcome back to my channel. Through my channel, Busby Style, my goal and mission is to help women just like you who are busy juggling life look like you have your act together, even if you don't. Today I want to talk about looking trendy and modern without looking like you're trying too hard. I know this is a common question that I get. It's a common dilemma for most of us. I think across the board it's one of those things we all kind of grapple with because you want to look modern, you want to look trendy, you want to look current, but you don't want to look desperate or like you're trying too hard. And I think that is especially true as we get older. We we want to stay youthful but not looking too young. There is a fine line and it is kind of an art form. So I want to talk about some of the ways that you can do that and just kind of store up that information so that when you're getting dressed day in and day out you can kind of think back to some of the things I talked about just to help you to make it simpler. And what I hope is that this won't deter you or discourage you but rather increase encourage you to take risks, to try different things, because I feel like sometimes we shy away from trying different things because we're worried about looking like we're trying too hard, but we really shouldn't. You really should take risks, you really should push the envelope, and you really should go for youthful and modern. So I think that if you employ these tips, I think it's going to help you feel more confident when you're getting dressed. I hope so anyway. That's always my goal. The first thing I want to talk about is your comfort level and confidence and these two really go hand in hand because if you're comfortable with what you're wearing you're going to be more confident with what you're wearing. Here is the catch though. A lot of times we don't wear new things or trendy things because we aren't used to them and so we're not comfortable with them and so we shy away from them. But oftentimes what you need to do is just try it a couple times and then once you've actually worn something or worn a trend a couple times, then it becomes more comfortable. So I know that may be hard for a lot of you to do. It's hard for me to do sometimes. It's just sometimes there's a trend that we're like, I don't know, just it feels way out of your comfort zone. But kind of if you just, you have to like ease into it, warm up to it a little bit. And maybe that means like you wear it around the house the first couple times. And then once you're a little bit more adjusted to the trend and it doesn't feel so foreign to you, then you wear it out and about and you feel much more confident wearing it. A pointed toe could be a good example. Like you've been wearing rounded toe forever and the pointed toe feels so weird, but once you wear it a couple times, it's no big deal. We went from boot cut jeans to skinny jeans. I'm sure in the beginning a lot of you were like, skinny jeans are the devil. I'm never wearing them. And the next thing you know, you're wearing the skinny jeans. Yes, you want to be comfortable when you're trying a new trend but also remember there is that period of discomfort where you're not familiar with the trend and you kind of have to get over that hump. Let me dive a little bit more into the trends because I feel like this is an important point to make when it comes to obviously looking trendy without trying too hard. You do want to pick and choose, pick the trends that really speak to you. I think when in doubt you should pick one trend and keep everything else real classic and minimal and then that way you're going to feel a lot more comfortable and confident. You're just doing one trend so it's not going to be over the top head to toe trend. You're just going to do one thing. That's it. It's nothing. Everybody can do that. So maybe that's like a cool necklace, you know, like a choker necklace. Maybe that's a fun statement pair of earrings like this. You know, maybe it's a pair of white shoes. I feel like that's a very easy way to kind of jump on the trendy bandwagon without going overboard. So something like this, just a pair of shoes, it's, it's not a huge commitment. Or maybe a round bag, or maybe just a pair of sunglasses that are trendy. The next tip I wanted to share is to mix high and low. I think there may be a tendency when we have like a special occasion or something going on where we want to wear head to toe high end, head to toe logos. I think you look a little bit more effortless and subtle and understated when you go with high and low mix. So maybe you have a really nice handbag that's high end, but everything else is pretty, you know, not luxury. Or maybe you have a belt that's luxury and then everything else again, middle of the road pricing. Just think in terms of mixing and matching the high and the low. And also, I would not go overboard on the logos. You know, if you've got the logo bag 
and the logo belt and the logo shoes. It's just, it's too much. And if we're talking about looking like you're trying too hard, I think that is a surefire way to create that look. If that's you and you've been doing that, I mean, don't get mad at me. <laughs> You should always wear what makes you happy. You should always wear what makes you feel confident and I'm like a million bucks. But I think that if you're going for this effortless look and this I'm not trying too hard look, then you should minimize the logos. The next tip to help you look like you're stylish or trendy or modern, but without trying too hard, is to wear a matching set. And I know this is gonna seem so counterintuitive. I can't even tell you how many times I've said, don't be matchy matchy. Times have changed. Matching is in again. <laughs> it's very in, in fact. So the beauty of the matching set is that it's incredibly easy to do. You buy the blazer and the pants or you buy the top and the pants or you buy the jumpsuit that matches or you buy, you know, it's a matching set. So it goes together and you don't have to worry about what separates to pair with it. It's like a built-in cool factor, a built-in outfit. It's super simple, super easy and stylish and has this, again, this cool factor, this trendy factor, but without being over the top. So I think that that's a little bit of an adjustment in our thinking, again, because for so long we were like, don't match, don't match, don't match. Now we're saying, um, yeah, do match. This is kind of just where fashion is right now. So I think that a matching set can really make it look as though you have it going on in the style department, you look youthful, you look modern, but you're not trying too hard, you know, which is the goal. I always try to envision like, what would a French woman wear? <laughs> French woman would be understated, they would be elegant, they would be sophisticated, they wouldn't look like they're trying too hard, and that's basically what this whole video is about. Okay, so dress like a French woman, basically. The last tip I wanted to share is one tip that I've talked about a bunch and it's certainly not just limited to this video where I'm talking about looking trendy without trying too hard. It's kind of across the board, especially I feel like as we get older and it's the one skin rule and it's minimizing the skin exposure. So if you are doing a whole thing here, like off shoulder top, one shoulder top, maybe you keep it more conservative on the bottom. I'm not saying, you know, you go like full prairie skirt, maxi skirt on the bottom, but just more coverage on the bottom, more conservative on the bottom. So maybe do a pair of jeans instead of a skirt. In contrast, if you're wearing a mini skirt or a mini dress, maybe you do something on top that has more coverage, like a mini dress with sleeves or a pair of shorts with a tunic, like I showed in my summer lookbook video. You just think in terms of if there's a lot of skin showing on the bottom, you keep the top covered. If there's a lot of skin showing up top, you keep the bottom covered. The best strategy to achieve that effortlessness with your style is to look understated, subtle, elegant, classy, and all of that will give you that desired effect. One other thing I did wanna mention about looking more subtle and understated is your hair. If you see somebody and they've got the curls in the hair and it's perfectly curled and teased and then they've got the very long gel nails think about your hair and your makeup and your nails as well when you're thinking about looking like you're not trying too hard you know hair straight or pulled back just really minimal can help so if you're doing something on your body that's a little bit more fashion forward or pushing the envelope a little bit more, maybe to get that understated effect, you do something a little bit more minimal with your hair and makeup and nails. So you don't go like full gel nail and you don't maybe go full curls. You do something more simple like just a, a hair pulled back in a ponytail, like no nail polish or very minimal nails and clean makeup. And that's another little tip just to help you look more understated, to help you look more effortless, more subtle, and not like you're trying too hard. 
So you want to minimize your skin exposure. You want to minimize the trends. Pick one and not do a bunch of trends in one look. You want to try a matching set because I feel like that's a great thing to try and a very easy thing to try. Mixing the high and lows, not a lot of logos. And then the most important thing is to wear something you're really comfortable wearing and really confident wearing. So I hope that was helpful to you guys. Those are my tips. Um, do let me know if you have any questions. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Maybe you're new to my channel. If you are, hi, welcome. I hope you will hit that subscribe button, subscribe to my channel. Also over on the blog, my website, busbystyle.com. Brand new look, brand new website. I'm so proud of it. I hope you'll pop over there and subscribe to my newsletter. You get one, one email a week with a recap of everything going on over on the website, which is different from what's going on here on YouTube. So be sure to subscribe over there. Don't forget to subscribe to my Instagram account at Busby Style there. I do outfits of the day on Instagram. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye.